here we are uh, on a beautiful covenanted private property just north of the Little Desert and this is a site, a novel intersection site for Caledonia, Colorado. We have introduced since 2013 over 800 plants uh, to four sites within this beautiful property. And since then we've had well over 600 recruits with several more hundred this year. So now the orchids um, that we originally planted have flowered, set seed, the recruits which I'm uh, nearly next to have also flowered and set seed and you can see there's about 50 flowering Caledonia Colorado around it. There has been a lot of research that has gone into introducing Caledonia Colorado. We had to identify the pollinator. This uh, it was a cute little Australian thinnard wasp by Matathinus pigidialis and it comes in and forages for nectar on the labellum of this particular species. We also had to figure out how to grow Caledonia colorata. It's reliant on one particular mycorrhizal fungi and so we had to isolate that mycorrhizal fungi, Serendipita australiana, and grow the parents of these symbiotically in the lab with their mycorrhizal fungi. So when we were introducing the parents of these particular plants, they were introduced with their mycorrhizal fungi to the site so that it would be there for both the seedlings and the adults to, to utilise for their nutrients. We now have um, sustainable populations here, so they're growing at a healthy rate um, and they are now pretty much at, at a point where um, they're sustainable and can be left alone. So this is a really good example of um, introduction at a novel site for uh, an Australian spider orchid that works, which is fantastic. <laughs>